One of the biggest misconceptions in this country is what this country is all about, who founded it, for what purpose, and most specifically, what it is that we're all looking for. I'm going to try to clarify some of those, and in doing it, as always happens, someone's going to be angry with my definition of some of these things. I've traveled all over the country. I've talked to probably hundreds of thousands of people individually over a lot of years. I broadcast a radio show that brings me thousands of letters every week. I administer the world's largest and most successful civilian intelligence gathering operation in the world, which makes me privy to an awful lot of information that none of you will ever see, and there's so much of it I can never present it in a form that you would be able to look at it and digest it. So that puts a pretty big burden on me and the people who work with me in the intelligence service and in the CAGI news service in order to digest this information, analyze it, and be able to present to you what we believe, and this is a subjective judgment, what you can digest and what you need to know at that particular time. And in doing this, digesting all this information, reading all of these letters from people of every kind of background that you can imagine, every race, every religion, every kind of agenda, and believe me, there's an awful lot of agendas going on in this country that are dangerous to Americans. Being promoted by people who claim to be Americans, who claim to be patriots, and who claim to be doing the best for this country, including those who want to destroy it and bring about a one world totalitarian socialist government. They sincerely believe in their heart they're doing the right thing for humankind. You see, nobody gets up in the morning and sets out to do evil. Nobody consciously does that. I've never met any person in my entire life who said, I'm evil, I'm going to do evil things, I like to do evil things, I want to do evil things. They don't exist, in my knowledge. They may exist somewhere, people like Jeffrey Dahmer. And I believe that even Jeffrey Dahmer probably rationalized what he was doing in his own mind to make it right. Isn't that the way we all do things? Even if we do something wrong and we know we're doing something wrong, don't we attempt to rationalize it in our own mind and to our friends to justify what we're doing? So I believe it's a great fallacy to set out to brand those whom we disagree with as being evil people. The result of their actions, we may perceive to be evil. We may perceive it to be bad. But I guarantee you those people don't see it that way. And when we present ourselves to them in that light, we're good and they're evil, do you think we have a chance of getting them to listen to us? Not on your life. It's not going to happen. So I think we have to change the way we talk. We have to talk to them in a different manner. Now don't take what I'm going to tell you standing up here today and compare it to what I say on the radio and expect the two to concur. Because when I'm here, I'm just Bill Cooper. I'm talking to you from my heart. When I'm on the radio, I am on a mission. And that mission is to slap people upside the head and wake them up and even make them hate me if that's what it takes to get them to go examine what I'm telling them to find out that it's right. You see, I don't care how it's done as long as they wake up.